when Thursday Night Football is on Fox 2, Fox 2 News is on KTVU Plus and streaming live online. The lawyers at BDNJ are used to dealing with some pretty big numbers. I was just walking across the street when I was hit in the crosswalk, but BDNJ got me a $28 million settlement. Call BDNJ at 1-800-820-1111 today. I got put in a car accident, but I don't want to spend all day dealing with the lawyer. We can evaluate your case in as little as five minutes. They settled my case for $215,000. Call us. We're the Law Brothers. Call 415-9 million or visit lawbrothers.com. More below freezing temperatures to start the day across parts of the Bay Area. Now this weather is posing a serious danger. How some cities are working to protect people living on the streets. Then concern is growing as the number of COVID cases and respiratory illnesses is rising. What the 12 Bay Area health officers are doing to help protect people just ahead of the holidays. Then it's one of the main arteries in San Francisco. What we've learned about a proposal to make the Embarcadero car free. The news at noon starts now. This is KTV Fox 2 News at Noon. Good afternoon. I'm Gaston Mikhail. I'm Audrey Senior. We begin with an update new at noon. San Francisco police say a missing at-risk woman from Petaluma has been spotted in the city. Virginia Fuque, who suffered from severe dementia, was seen around noon yesterday at the Wells Fargo Bank near 4th and King Streets in the south of Market neighborhood. This is surveillance video here inside the bank. Police say they think she took a bus to San Francisco because a canine traced her to a bus stop. A silver alert was activated after she went missing in Petaluma Tuesday night. She had been seen asking for buses to Sassoon City. Anyone with information about her whereabouts or may have seen her or someone matching her description is asked to call police. Also new at noon, health officers from all Bay Area counties and health departments sent out a joint statement this morning. It strongly recommends key steps. Wearing a mask indoors whenever possible, staying home when you're sick, and getting vaccinated, not just for COVID, but also against the flu. KTV's Alec Rasmus live in our newsroom. And Allie, this all comes as hospital capacity is tightening and medical resources are being stretched. And that's why we're hearing from doctors from all of the Bay Area's county health offices, also from many doctors across several large medical groups in the Bay Area and Northern California. They're speaking out about this because they're busy and cases of flu, RSV, and now also COVID are on the rise. The good thing out of COVID is that 